Good evening, social media family. It is Naturally Riri coming to you yet again to have another perfume talk. I wanted to talk about a recent purchase that I did for tonight and something that's been on my mind for a while. And I just wanted to share my two bits on the subject at hand. And it is going to be on the House of Harmony. I hope each and every one of you is having a fantastic night. I hope you like my videos, subscribe to my channel, as well as comment because every subscriber helps me know that you're on a perfume and fragrance journey yourself. Let's be on the journey together. So I'm coming to you on a somber note. My Texans didn't win tonight. Congratulations to the Baltimore Ravens for going to the AFDC Divisional Championship game that's scheduled for next week. I hope you all have a successful run, which I'm not going to say nothing negative, but I hope you have a successful run. But the Texans, I am so proud of y'all as an employee, as well as a fan. I am just so happy about the new era of D'Amico. D'Amico and CJ is like magic and I am just so proud to be part of an organization that is transitioning to such a positive and happy environment it, it, this has just been a true blessing in disguise so Texans we gonna make we we I'm gonna be like the like them boys we going to the Super Bowl next year we going to the Super Bowl next year I'm telling y'all CJ gonna take us to the Super Bowl he gonna take us to the promised land I'm telling y'all but that's enough of that. So tonight, I wanted to talk about a perfume house um, called du the Dubai House of Fragrance. It is here in Houston, and they have two locations here in the Houston area. They have one on the southeast end off of Martin Luther King and Griggs Boulevard. And then our second location is in Sugarland, which is in First Colony Mall, if you're in the Houston area. So I wanted to get on the gravy train and pick up a Middle Eastern fragrance. However, this month, I wanted to kind of start off by trying to focus on fragrance houses that are here in Houston because there's so many. And the ones that we do have don't get talked about enough. And if you're a vlogger in Houston, we should be promoting these companies because it's local. And so, yeah, it's called the Dubai House of Fragrance. And these fragrances is made in Dubai, but, you know, they're probably shipped here to those two locations. And I picked up a fragrance called Hot Black Women or Black Hot Women. I, I don't know. The name is... <laughs> It's misleading, but um, looking at their website, they have a line of fragrances called Hot. Um, so I'm thinking that's where the name comes from, is from their line of hot fragrances for this fragrance house. So, um, yeah, the choice of, can be skeptical, but hey, it is what it is, right? But... The juice in here, don't get it twisted. This is a 3.4 ounce bottle and it was for $45. You cannot beat a fragrance for $45. Now, I know you y'all talked about Natafa, Ahimane, and you can get them for less than $50 on Amazon and some other sites. But like I said, I don't want to go... I don't want to do the normal. I want to go outside the box and against the grain. So when I saw this fragrance on sale for 45 I was game. Game on. So um, the notes on this fragrance. Now, I do have the box. I opened up the package way before I decided to shoot this video. So this is the box. It's very simple. Nothing extravagant, but it says here in pink and, and you see the silver tone kind of mesh kind of color, which is black women hot. So um, this is a fragrance that does cater to women and it is leaning feminine. Now the notes on this particular fragrance, um, it is floral, bergamot, jasmine, raspberry, strawberry, magnolia, 
as well as tuberose, amber, woody, and musk notes. And so I sprayed it on earlier, and so I sprayed it on this test tube, on this test strip. And I can definitely tell the tuberose definitely right now at the dry down as well as the musk. Um, these two fragrances, these two notes in this fragrance is shining through. Um, I love, I love tuberose. I've always said I am a rose kind of girl. That is, that's just me. Um, this smells very pretty. Um, it is more like a skin scent, so I sprayed it on my skin earlier um, tonight. Definitely skin scent at the dry down. I do still catch the tuberose fragrance, that the note itself, not the fragrance, but the note. I can still catch it, but it's more of a skin scent, which is fine for me because if I want to snuggle up to someone, hopefully... If the Lord says, <laughs> I will have me a, a boo thing um, soon when time tell the tell. And yeah, I think that person will love to smell me. So she is pretty. Okay, so I'm going to respray this again. Oh, it smells so sexy. It's sensual. It's sexy. It's sweet. Um, and look at the mister. The mister is not bad at all. This is heavy. Like I said, this is a 3.4 ounce bottle. The top is a standard top. It's nothing fancy. It's just like a little plastic top to go over it. And oh my goodness, the bergamot. Um, I catch that whiff of that citrus as well as that raspberry and the jasmine. Those three alone, I can immediately catch, um, especially the jasmine, because I am a jasmine girl. I love me some jasmine. And she's going to pair well with my mare fragrance, Remember When. And then I think I'm going to pair her with peony silk from mare fragrance because I got a travel size. So I want to kind of pair them and see what they're going to do. But I'm definitely loving those beginning notes. Um... I do catch a little bit of the strawberry because it is a strawberry note in here. It doesn't remind me of Burberry Her or Burberry Her Elixir because it does have a strawberry note. <clears throat> but it just, it has it in there. It, it reminds me of that, but it's not that. So let's just, let's not say it's a dupe. Let's not say it's an impression. This is a fragrance completely on its own, but I do smell the strawberry. I do smell the strawberry at the dry down, in the middle of the dry down. But definitely almost at the end, I could definitely catch the um, tuberose and the musk. So I'm going to wear her real soon. I'm not going to wear her tomorrow because I think I've already made my mind up on what I want to wear. And that is on my next topic. It's going to bring me in to the House of Harmony with Vanilla x coffee and i know i talked about it briefly but i wanted to just share a little bit more this is definitely a vanilla um it is vanilla ford however the coffee note is so prevalent this reminds me of a um a, a cafe latte um that's what this reminds me of so this is definitely our dark roast that is the number one note in this fragrance and it has chocolate chips as well as vanilla um, it has like the sugar you could tell with the creamy note it this reminds me of a latte of a latte hands down um, but this brings me to a memory of my dad my dad was a truck driver and in my younger years he used to work nights so he would carry like those big canisters um, full of hot coffee and he used to drink his coffee black. I've gotten to the point on some occasions drinking it black, but sometimes I'll just put a little um, homemade creamer in it and just drink it as it is. I don't put no sweetener in it because my creamer is already sweetened, so I just drink it like that. But depending on my mood, I may drink it black. That's what this reminds me of. It has a memory of 
seeing my dad getting ready to go to work at night and having that big canister of hot coffee just to keep him up and keep him moving around and working throughout the night. Um, it's sweet. It's it's a dark roast. Like, um, like if you're from New Orleans, in the New Orleans area, even from Louisiana, you know the New Orleans, the Louisiana coffee is a little bit stronger. It's like that chicory. If you know, you know. And Trill, if you know, you know. If you watch this video, you know, you know about that chicory coffee. That's what this reminds me of, that chicory coffee. You know that chicory coffee that you buy at um, Winn-Dixie? Um, because if you're in Louisiana area, you know Winn-Dixie is where everybody goes. But I forgot the name of that chicory coffee that everybody buys. And after you open it, you got to stick it in the freezer so that way it can stay fresh. Because otherwise, it will go rancid so fast. That's what this reminds me of. And every time I go home to New Orleans, because my dad's family is from the um, New Orleans area. They're from Marrero. That's the first thing they did. First thing in the morning, they get in that, that big pot of coffee situated. That's what this reminds me of. It doesn't remind me of Cafe Du Monde and picking up, the, um, you know, those beignets. No, it doesn't remind me of that. So please, please, please don't ask. No, it does not remind me of that. It reminds me of that chicory coffee that you buy at the grocery store at Winn-Dixie. It's in that I want it's not community coffee because community coffee is also based out of Louisiana. No, 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 no. It's the other one. It's super strong because when you make it, you put like about a, a fourth of a cup and it whoo, it gets you chest hairs when you fill up the whole pot. That's what this reminds me of. So it has fond memories. I'm wearing this baby on tomorrow. So yeah, I'm wearing this tomorrow. I'm not going to say nothing else. But that's going to be my fragrance that I'm going to wear tomorrow to go to church. Now, um, I just wanted to share my two bits of this surrounding the controversy surrounding Harmony. I know um, if you are in the YouTube streets or even in the Instagram streets, y'all have been seeing um, the controversy surrounding the House of Harmony with Trill Noel. And like I've shared my experience. I've had a very positive experience talking with Trill when I first purchased my first fragrance. My first fragrance I purchased from him was Athena. And so immediately we, you know, we communicated and as of late, we have not communicated because life got to the best of us. He's about to be a father again for the second time around and I'm just living my best life in my um, um, empty nester phase. So life is lifing. And um, he's never been disrespectful to me. He's always been professional with me. He enjoys talking about fragrances. You can hear the excitement in his voice when he talks about fragrances, whether on he's on his live feeds with Instagram or with his live feeds with TikTok. He's always been excited to talk about fragrance and is willing to share his love of fragrance with anyone and everyone who's willing to listen. Um, I know a lot of people did not like how he communicated with him, but when you're a small business owner, you're getting that hustle and grind on, I can respect that, but maybe a lot of people are just not used to a different philosophy on reaching out to your customers. And so um, I support Trill 100%. Um, and you have to keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, when you buy fragrances from the House of Harmony, it is a one-man show. He makes his fragrance. He does the packaging. He does the branding. He does the shipping. Um, he does everything. He's picking out the bottles. He's picking out, you know, the logo. He's doing the, you know, the like I said, the branding, the marketing, everything he's doing, it's all him he doesn't have a team to help him and so um you have to keep that in mind and and i know his um his customer service has been wonderful he's been amazing to me and his you know like i said his customer service was good but because of that big sale oh he had a delay in shipping no doubt about that but he had a major sale 
and he had sales at the wazoo so it did take a while for me to get this fragrance which i can't complain but i'm so glad i have her because i've been trying to wear her since christmas time december 1st but um i'm glad i got her i'm definitely gonna wear her tomorrow i'm just so excited so um ladies and gentlemen if you want to know more information about the house of harmony go on their website and just look and see what fragrances they have he has a whole bunch of fragrances and so um just keep in mind if you do purchase a fragrance from this fragrance house um, be mindful and respectful of his time he is diligently working on orders when they come through he tries to process them as fast as he can and send them out because he is a small business owner and i mean small i mean one he is the only one he's doing everything so please take that into consideration and y'all um like and share his videos and and just you know see what he's about you may be surprised at what you're able to find so that is my spill for today i'm keeping it short because it's not my usual night but because i was watching the game and i did see like i said the texans with the with the loss it's real sad but it's a real win for us as well Y'all have an amazing night. Please be safe out there if you're in the Houston area. Be safe coming home from those Texans watch parties. And j j just, just be safe. Just be safe out there. Be a blessing in your community. Like my video. Share my video. Subscribe to my channel. Hopefully the content that I am sharing with you all, you understand the content you're willing to share your feedback on my content and hopefully I can share my response on my own feedback on my own con uh, content. Thank you so much. Again, be a blessing in your community. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Bye-bye.